Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back trying Brazilian goodies. Yeah, we did a Brazilian video maybe a year ago and we really enjoyed it because the treats are just so different from yes. what we're used to. We have an awesome Brazilian shop near us, so I thought let's go check out some more items. And this is what we've got today. Yeah, and in the last video, there were people who were saying, yeah, these are really traditional yeah. things. So it's good to see that we were getting the right things, but they're also saying there's some other stuff. So hopefully we'll hit some of those in this yeah, video. Yeah, hopefully. Um, okay. Okay, let us know down below, have I got the things? Because I was asking the guy on the till, but then he could just be telling me everything's popular yeah, to make me to, buy it. just to make the sale. <laughs> but anyway, we don't really have many chips, but we do have two potato sticks. Oh, and cool. he was telling me that these are often used in cooking. So he was saying you can mix it with mayonnaise. Oh, nice. Um, and I was also doing some research and some people make kind of like casseroles and they top yeah, it like or hot topping. dogs and stuff. So if you get these, let us know how you create them into a recipe. We've got two brands here. He basically told me that these ones were better than these. I'm guessing they're just like plain. Whoa, how on earth can you make them thinner <sighs> than that? <laughs> That's already thinner than any potato fry I've ever seen. Was it... Wasn't there some from Canada? Canada. They were like in a little- Hickory sticks. Yeah, they were in a little pot, weren't they? and they were really skinny. And you love them. Generally, what I like about these things is that you can grab one and you can eat it. Whereas with these, you have to get a pinch of them mm. to actually get a worthwhile amount. Mm. Mm. Very um, ready salted flavor. Mm -hmm. They are quite plain, but mm. I think it's because you're meant to mix them with things. Mm. I can tell these would be amazing as like a little topping or... How good would they be um, over soup? Because mm. I don't mind it when things go a bit like soggy. Well, like on top of a dish with some mayo mm -hmm. mixed in, it's like a little. I love things with a crumbly top. Yeah, that is really delicious. He That's said really these good. aren't as greasy, so I'm guessing these might be a little greasy. They don't look it though. No, they don't, do they? Well, I reckon that's Kato. I think so. And these are called Bata Batata Pala. At first, I thought they had like no flavor at mm. all, but there is a bit of an aftertaste. I think if I was to pick between the two, I'd go for the first bag over these. I think I prefer these. Oh. Yeah. I think these have got a bit more flavor. These are a bit thicker. Really liking these. Delicious. These are a bit more fiddly to eat though than, you know, just like a potato chip, aren't they? Because yeah. it's like, you've got loads of little ones and you're trying yeah, to like, like put it in your mouth and they're sticking out everywhere. Mm. But I wonder how many people actually would just eat them as potato chips. 50-50. You think? Yeah. Because surely they have other potato chips as well, so you'd pick a potato chip. You're, you'd need like a bib. Yeah. And those ones <laughs> it really does kind of go this like this way, that way, doesn't mm. it? Yeah. I really like them. I'm going Yoki over the Kato. I'm going the Kato. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I think there's a bit more in the flavour that I like there. Obviously they're quite plain, so I will probably just give them like an eight out of 10. Mm. They are delicious, but I think they will probably be so good mixed in with I you would know, love to food do and... a little dollop of mayo in a bowl yeah. of them and like mix around. Yeah, that be sounds delicious. Amazing. Now to accompany that, mm. we have some grape juice. Some UVA. Is this like getting a UVA raise? 100% suco de UVA. I wonder that what that means. Daterina. It... Well, they look like grapes, don't they? All this blueberries. is grape juice. Oh, it is grape and juice. And he basically said, this is just like wine. Oh, but, but that without hasn't been fermented. alcohol. So um, he even said, like, when you drink it afterwards, the glass looks like you've had wine. Oh, interesting. That smells <laughs> that amazing. Smells that smells like wine. smells like red wine. You like red I wine, don't red you? Wine, yeah. Well, cheers. cheers. That's really interesting. You can see how that becomes wine. red wine because red wine has like a depth and a harshness mm -hmm. that obviously comes after yeah. being fermented. This is like a kind of tangier, sweeter. A bit more sweeter. Mm. When we've had like grape juice before, like American grape juice, it's always like really sweet and yeah, fruity. Yeah, it's never been like this. This is much richer and much more complex. Doesn't it isn't almost it? taste a bit thicker, almost like a few. Free yeah. puree in a way. Well, I'm not the biggest. Oh yeah, I'm not the biggest red wine drinker, but I have had a couple of sips, mm. and like as I've got older, the sips haven't been as. Ooh, Ooh. You know what I mean. But I feel like I can now drink this and almost understand why Mum enjoys a glass of wine mm. because 
when you enjoy a drink, I doubt she notices the alcohol as much like you enjoy beer. You don't notice yeah. it as much as me. So like when I drink this, it's almost like I finally get to taste red wine, mm. but without that alcoholic flavor that's sometimes that too like. strong. Yeah, this is lovely. That's nice. It is sweet, but then it does have a bit of a tang. I really like this. I can feel like I'm drinking red wine now. Do you not think it almost tastes like fruit pure? pure? Do you yeah, want some more? Yeah, it Yeah, I wouldn't mind actually. That is delicious and mm. very different to anything I've tasted. So I'm going 10 out of 10 for that. I'm definitely going 10 out of 10 on that. Yeah, yeah really they're delicious. They're so good. Now we have tried something a bit like this before, but I found two different brands. I think they're pretty much the same thing, but we've got one here and one here. And what I think it is, is the guava paste. So this is two brands. This one I've got is Predilecta. And this is Ralston. Roust and it's called a Classica Goabada. Goabada. Anyway, I don't know if this is correct, but when I was in Brazil, I went to Sao Paulo and it was really great. It was a work trip, so I didn't get to see much. But we had something called Romeo and Juliet. I mentioned this in our last video. Yeah. And basically it's guava paste with cheese. Oh, cool. Oh, let me see that texture. This one looks mm. more like jellied. That looks more like a paste. That is lovely. Is it? Mm. I wish I noted down the prices now, but don't you think that one looks more expensive? Yeah, I think this is guava and like lime. That is so Drop. lovely. Try that. And tell me if it's popular, but I kept seeing on the shelves like a banana paste. So if we need to try that, let us know. Mmm. Wow. That one, well, they're both kind of are, but that one a bit more is almost like a jelly sweet. And what's that? This is a bit like clearer, a bit smoother. It's softer. Mmm. It's so good, is it? I'm oh alright. How funny! It's like the same product, but different but flavor. Two texture. just slightly different textures. It's still very I'm glad similar. Glad I picked them both up. This now. one's a bit more like grainy. It's almost like this one's been a bit more filtered. Mm. Like they sieved a bit more of the grain out of it. I think I prefer this one. I can't decide because as soon as I bit into this, I missed the graininess yeah. from that. But like on my second bite, wow, that is a lot smoother. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I can pick. I think I prefer the slightly grainy one, this one, but this is have so Have another good. mini bite. I don't know, like jelly almost, this mm. one. I don't think I can have the grape juice straight after that because no. they're both like such rich flavors. Yes, yeah, very strong. Mm. I think I'm going for that one as my favorite. Really? Yeah. We're opposites today. Absolutely delicious. Should we try this? Yeah, what is it? So it's so funny because you know how a lot of these things have a paper yeah. that you stick on to save the ingredients in England? Yeah. As we were packing, the shopping, he goes, uh, any of you have any allergies? And Matt said, peanut, and he kept going, don't eat. <laughs> don't eat. <laughs> like he kept yeah. saying it, because obviously this hasn't got the English. Oh, yeah. um, so, do you want to pronounce that, Al? Morenina do Rio. I, yeah. Sebo traditional, so I think Traditional this is, flavor. And it's um, Dolce de Mani. I think it's like peanut and like milk. Oh, interesting. I like how it comes in a little box. Yeah. I'm just laughing at the guy. <laughs> yeah. What are you laughing at? Yeah, you laughing at the guy. <laughs> Feel that, that's not what I was expecting. I thought this was gonna be hard. Yeah, it feels quite I, soft I actually, love this little it? tub. It's what fun, isn't it? That was like a paste. Oh, didn't we have something like this before that was kind of like a paste? Is this gonna be like halva? Mmm. Is it quite dry? Really dry. Mmm, but really sweet. Mmm. If you literally covered that in chocolate, it'd be a peanut, peanut butter, butter cup. cup. I was just thinking that. I wonder if mm. a peanut butter cup has almost stemmed from something Maybe. like this and kind of stolen the idea. I love the way wow. it just falls apart uh -huh. in your mouth. That's delicious, isn't it? Shame Matt can't have that. I know. <laughs> oh my word. So when I saw this, I knew I wanted to try it. Mm. But then when he said about it being peanut, I'm always straight away a bit like, oh, but I've really grown to like the peanut butter cups, haven't I? Yeah. And that really is but inside. But also it's so sweet. Mm -hmm. that how could you not like it? It's really sweet. Mm. Would you say it's about the sweetness of a Reese's or sweeter? Maybe slightly sweeter. Yeah. I really want to melt some chocolate at some point and dip, and dip some those in. in. That'd be really oh, good. Although you'd have to be around. really careful because they'd all they'd just crumble. Or just like pour it in and just roll oh, them. Yeah, that's a good idea. But they are phenomenal. So good. I'm giving them 10 out of 10. I'm really glad we got so many. Mm. Can you believe me? Well, I don't care. I'm a real peanut butter lover now. Aren't You're I? a real peanut butter lover. I still now. don't think I'd ever have like a peanut butter sandwich, but neither would you, would no. you? These They're are just amazing. so dry. I don't. 
get dry things with bread. Bread's already dry. Yeah. Don't put something drier on it. No. It all gets like stuck to the roof of your mouth. Oh, and yeah. I hate that. Do you know what I just thought you might like with this? What? Apple, because you, you know you like yeah. putting it on apple. I know it's dry, but an apple's yeah. well, juicy. If you're eating an apple and having a nibble yeah. on that, that would be and then, nice. Yeah. So you need like apples, one of these, and chocolate. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Right, do you want something else really indulgent and delicious? Yeah, let's go Okay. They didn't have this last time. I'm almost getting emotional. Really? <laughs> I, sometimes my eyes do Why are you go, so emotional I don't know. About it? I'm not emotional. So, it's excitement. Yeah. It's sometimes my eyes just go watery. Really? Anyway, when I was in Brazil, we got to try Brigadeiro, which I think is how you pronounce it, Brigadeiro. And they didn't have it last time, but you know how I said they had some fresh stuff like the cheese bread? Yeah. This time they had some of the Brigadeiro. Oh, anyway, cool. this is, I know for sure is definitely popular. Anyway, have you ever seen this before? No. Basically, it's like a truffle. It's like a homemade Ferrero Rocher or something. Yeah. It's condensed milk, cocoa powder. Yeah. Um, and then mixed all together, like butter, and then covered in sprinkles. Yeah, Brigadero. I was and looking over so there and I was thinking, I can't see anything I called Brigadero. Cool. So I'm going to make these one day. Yeah. And we got to. <laughs> I hope I it's as good as what I remember. So soft. These are way bigger than the ones we had. They were mm. only small. Let's have one more bite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And how perfect are the amazing. chocolate sprinkles? I think they want... really add to it. Because mm -hmm. you want crunch, but then you don't want it to be too crunchy. Mm. And chocolate sprinkles aren't too crunchy. Because otherwise it'd be too a bit too mushy, wouldn't it? Mm. And you do get a bit of the flavor of the condensed milk. One can of condensed milk. My mother's recipe. And guess what? We've got another one. What are you giving that? I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. That is a delicious treat. I'm you know giving that, that 20 nice out of 10. With? That'd be nice with a little cup of coffee. Yeah, you'd enjoy really it with nice, that. Yeah. And do you know what? I really liked how soft it is. It's really hot here at the moment, so it's quite soft. But if you wanted, you could put that in the fridge for a bit and be more of like a bite, don't you yeah. think? It'd be a bit more chewy, yeah. maybe. So New idea. There are these videos I'm obsessed with on Instagram and TikTok where people make a shot of an espresso. Oh, right. But they like make it over things. Oh, and it, or they like make it. You kind like of more that? Invested. I thought oh, you would I love hate that. that. Oh, I love it, that. It's messy and goes. No, because it like melts through and <laughs> it's so good. One of those in a cup, espresso shot on top. Yeah. Mix it up. Would be amazing, but I almost I enjoy eating it though. I enjoy eating it. it. But then at the same time you don't enjoy coffee, so no. you probably wouldn't like that. No, I wouldn't. We've got two biscuits here. I don't know how popular these are gonna be, so you'll have to let us know. I don't know, but I really like the branding. I have a friend who's from Brazil, Kawana. She actually watches our videos. Um, so hey, I Kawana. Next time Scott and Kawana come round, maybe I should try and make some Brigadeiros. Yeah. I was going to say as a surprise, but you might be watching this because it's the Brazilian Yeah, video. maybe we cut this bit out. Yeah, but wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> yeah. And she would like have it and it almost taste of, be a Give taste her a little of home. taste of home. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right, radical. what have we got? We've got chocolate and we've got merengue which I'm not sure what that is. It's oh. strawberry. Oh, and do you know what's funny? What? Even though these are from Brazil, they're made by the same people who make... Mondelez. Capri's. Capri's. Yeah, they're teeny. They are quite light. Are you going strawberry first or chocolate? I'm going strawberry first. I'll go chocolate first then. It's obviously strawberry with chocolate. Mm. Mm. Chocolate biscuit. Uh, quite good, actually. I just kind of, in a way, wish there was a bit of jam, jam. in there. But actually, the strawberry is... It's quite natural. It's like... um. A bit like when you did the Nesquik frosting. Mm. Yeah, it's like Nesquik. The strawberry almost tastes a bit like jam, isn't it? So mm. it would be amazing if there was a bit of jam in there. A little dollop. The strawberry's my favourite. The chocolate's nice, but at first I was thinking, oh, there's not much flavour to it. But once you bite into it, more happens, doesn't it? I really like the chocolate, but I think I agree. Mm. The strawberry is better, yeah. Which is funny because you're not the biggest fan of like a chocolate cake with jam in, are you? No. But this is the perfect strawberry to go with chocolate. I think it's because it's an icing. It actually works really yeah, well. Yeah, more of an icing. Mm. Mm. Definitely these over these. I um, do really like the chocolate though. I just wish they were a little richer. Yeah. But that's just me. That's the thing. Over chocolate biscuits I've had, these are just like a, a six. But these are absolutely delicious. I'm going nine out I of like ten. the actual biscuit. It's really like... Oh, the biscuit's lovely, isn't uh, it? Crumbly and like quite hard, isn't uh -huh. it? To bite through. I like Quite that. a crunchy one. That yeah. would be good with a coffee. You or, could probably a dunk, couldn't you? And, yeah. And still have a bit of crunch inside. Mm. 
I'm really jealous of your icy cold glass of water. You have know. a sip. No, no, I'm okay. Look at that. Isn't that just absolutely... That is a sight to behold. Appetizing. We're left with two drinks. Two drinks. I got super excited. Yeah. And Summer, if you're watching, we've got some mango tang. How exciting. Do I they saw... have mango tang in America? I don't know. That's what I need you guys to tell us because yeah. they actually had quite a few flavours. And it's funny because when we just went to Croatia, they had their version of tang, orange and lemon. Yeah. Whereas here in this Brazilian shop, they have pineapple, mango, grape. I don't see why you orange, couldn't do it in strawberry. other flavours. I know, I feel like in America, you're bound to have all yeah. of them. Anyway, so this is uh, manga, which I'm guessing yeah. is mango. Should I go do that? Yeah. And then we've got Toddy, Toddy original. original. This is like a chocolate milk or something. Isn't yes, it? and I did a little bit of research. I believe this is kind of the original and then like Nesquik came out with one. Oh, this but is this made is by more... PepsiCo. Oh, how funny. Yeah. But I think this is more of the original. Party's here. Party girl. Doesn't that just look that looks amazing. amazing? And it smells incredible. It smells fantastic. The other great thing about it is if, you know, you had a bit of a power outage, you could do a jug of this and you could see where you're going. <laughs> yeah, it's very bright. <laughs> yeah. Very, very bright. These well, are we... good for like, if you just have like a party, just get... Yeah party measure for a glass and this is the stuff astronauts drink isn't it mm -hmm. so get me to space i don't know about the mango but yeah did get it say how many space. how much vitamin c or anything cheers on this? no i should have put the thing in whoa that's the amazing thing about tang is that how... sounds like an advert that's the amazing that's thing that's the about amazing thing tang. about tang. oh did i not mention this video is sponsored by tang <laughs> <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> how well, they've made it taste like actual fruit juice. Yeah. From just a powder. And it's a powder. Yeah. <laughs> it is so bizarre, isn't it? Because obviously that's the whole point, but it's amazing how often we try a food and it's meant to taste like one thing, but it doesn't really. Yeah. But that well, is... Well, like a sweet, this flavor's not quite what it says. Yeah. But if you blindfolded me and you gave me that or a lineup of fruit juices and one yeah. of them was out, made out of tang, I wouldn't know. No. This is really delicious. And in some way, it tastes slightly thick. You know how when you get mango yeah. juice from the shop, compared to an orange juice and apple juice, the mango is usually a bit thicker. Yeah, it doesn't it, feel really thin, does it? No, it doesn't feel just like liquid because I've oh. just put a liter of water in there. It's giving me a bit of a thick vibe. Yeah, thick vibe. Is that thick, thick with two vibe. C's? Yes, vibe. thick. Cool. Mmm, I like that. That's probably it, my vitamin C for the day. Mm, exactly. I've already had my vitamin C for the day, so I better be careful. Let me cleanse my mm. palate. Is it good? Mm. That's nice, actually. Probably shouldn't drink something milky. After I know, that's what I was thinking. Well. well, I know what'll help. Mmm. Sorry, one sec. Chalky milk. Chalky milk, anyone? Chalky milk. You weren't on TikTok around the chalky milk time, were you? No. Like a sound became popular, so then loads of people were just like making chalky milk, mm. saying like chalky milk makes everything better. That's nice. If you get your bicky and you dunk in there, and your chalky milk. We recently had Nesquik, didn't yeah. we? The original recipe back, and that was delicious. Mm. But this is really, really nice. Really nice. It tastes more chocolatey, don't you think? Mm. It almost tastes like, ah, you know when you have a chocolate sauce? Oh, yeah. It tastes like a chocolate fudge mm. sauce in a milk. That's really nice. Mm. I'm glad That's we really tried good. it cold because sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of hot chocolate. I actually think I prefer cold chocolate. The thing is, when it comes to hot chocolate, I love those really rich, almost chocolate, yeah. literally melted in yeah. there ones. The powdery ones don't do it for me. Whereas as a chocolate milk, that's actually really good. <laughs> I'm in I'm heaven. enjoying that, aren't you? I really did go through life thinking I wasn't a chocolate milk fan. That's why I always had like the strawberry or it'd be like a vanilla milkshake. Yeah. That is so nice. That's also taking me back to Wendy's. Oh, <laughs> was it Wendy's? Wendy's like ice blast or yeah, something. No, that's KFC. What are the Wendy's Snow ones? something. We said this before in a yeah, video and someone told us I've already forgotten. Snow Blitz or something. Yeah. Should I Google Blitz, it? yeah. Frosty. Frosty. Wendy's Frosty. Frosty. They were so good. It wasn't really like ice cream in a way, was no. it? It was like It was like the milkshake, but it was milk. so light, but mm. milk. Oh, 
That is delicious, and that really is probably good. one of the best chocolate milks I've ever yeah. had. That is really, really nice. You know how we've had them in cartons before, and they don't taste as good? Yeah. The fact that it's a nice cold milk, and you've mixed that really well. Oh, thanks. Well done, Al. I did put a lot of effort in. Yeah, well so done. Thank you. That's uh, really, really good. Thank you for appreciating the hard work that went into it. That's all right. Mm. And your tang, your work with the tang was lovely. <laughs> wow. All right, there we go. That's all Amazing. I got. A five, six, seven, eight. I don't notice you stepped mm. down for a beat. Okay, Al. Um, I think. It's hard. It's, it is tricky. I'm not sure if you're expecting this, but I think my treat of the week is gonna be this. No way! Juice. This is phenomenal. I really love it. It gives me like a red wine vibe yeah, without, the, without alcohol. the alcohol. I think it's so good. It was close because I almost went for this. Yeah. But I just think this is so interesting. What okay. about you? My treat is oh, yeah, Brigadero <laughs> and these because I can't not decide. You hit that round there, I forgot <laughs> about that. As it wasn't your treat of the week, I'll be finishing this. I'm going to stick to mine, yeah. We have some comments sometimes saying, when it's your treat of the week, yeah. do you get to finish it? And that's true, like sometimes actually, when it is one of our treat of the weeks and there is only a little bit left, we sometimes are like, no, you enjoy that. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah. we? I think that's what happens. We kind of share the rest out with the family. Especially if there's only like one more of it. Yeah. Like, oh, well, if there's, if there's a though. few, we're both, I think, happy to share it. Yeah. But if there's like one left, we'll always say, no, you yeah, like that more than me. Exactly. Yeah. But I have to say, this is definitely one of my yeah. treat of the weeks and the Brigadero. Honorable mention to this, because yeah. it's just so different to what we have here, anything yeah. we have here. Yeah. Did you enjoy it, Al? Yeah, I really enjoyed that, Kate. Thanks for going and getting all, all that right. stuff. That's all right. You're such a right. good sleuth for finding <laughs> delicious treats. I need to go back and get some cheese bread. Yeah. Anyway, if you guys would like to try some of our British treats, we have mm. loads of boxes on our website and we'll leave Leave that link down below. We make and pack those boxes ourselves and send them out to you. And when you order one of those, it helps support the channel. And if you want to support the channel, but you don't want to get a box, there's always the thanks button down below. Exactly. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.